This is a video about categories of men's clothing that are close to or above 100% sell-through in pre-owned condition. The first category is cargo pants. Cargo anything is really popular right now simply because of what the fashion world is doing. Stuff with a lot of cargo pockets is back on trend. We're back to uh, 1999. So cargo pants have 120% sell-through in men's the men's clothing category in pre-owned condition. Women's, not as high. Women's are at less than 50%. That's gonna be a common theme. These categories do not translate over to women's stuff for the most part. This number is a little bit deceptive because certain brands will have way above 100% sell-through and other brands will have sub 100% sell-through. So these are just guidelines, starting points to start trying to sift through some of the uh, clothing inventory. So some brands to look, be on the lookout for here. 511 Tactical cargo pants are really, really great sellers. That's always been the case for me. The sell-through is over 100%. Um, some of their cargo pants, specific lines, sell for more. Look for flame-resistant stuff. Look for certain names of the cargo pants, the cuts of the cargo pants, and look those up. Uh, I'm going to run through these brands quickly. These are eligible brands. I went in and looked at the solds. So these are just some brands that I saw <clears throat> selling used for higher prices, uh, better money. Carhartt, of course, uh, G-Star cargo pants, and I've sold their cargo shorts as well for quite a bit of money. I think I sold them for over 40 bucks. Cargo shorts in general are going to be lower sell through than cargo pants though. Uh, Nike cargo pants, Polo Ralph Lauren, especially if they're vintage, that's going to be a recurring theme. Patagonia, cargo pants, cool cargo pants, of course, Marmot. These are going to be more hiking or performance-oriented cargo pants than the khaki cargo pants that you would get from like an Abercrombie. Prana, which is an outdoor brand, same deal. Arcteryx, Duluth Trading Co. These are brands that I've discussed before. Abercrombie, I guess that's why that was in my bra uh, brain. Abercrombie and Fitch cargo pants have sold for good money. The North Face. So really all the, the big brands that I've talked about, those are the ones that I've seen. Selling for good money doesn't mean there aren't more out there. Those are just the ones that were above the fold on the sold page on eBay. So next category is Carpenter Jeans. Carpenter Jeans are more of a vintage style. They were popular back in the 90s and I think the early 2000s. Those are the ones that have the hammer loop on the side up by the top pocket on the waist. Um, it's like a thick loop where you're, you can put tools. Those are called carpenter jeans and they are currently at 106% sell through in the men's category in pre-owned condition. So carpenter jeans, really anything that you can find carpenter jeans is gonna sell well. Levi's silver tabs are up there in the echelons of brands to uh, be on the lookout for. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Carpenter jeans are a great seller. Tommy Hilfiger is kind of a weak brand at this point just because it's gotten so blown out over the years. But their carpenter jeans that have the Tommy flag colors on the actual loop are phenomenal sellers. It's the red and the white. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the Tommy Hilfiger vintage logo is a big blocky flag with a solid block of white and a solid block of red. Any Tommy jeans, period, that you find that have that flag in a really conspicuous place and if it's large those are pretty unconditional buys for me other brands to be on the lookout for again duluth trading co carhartt tommy hilfiger as i said levi's dickie's actually doing pretty well so these brands that i'm advocating i did not check the sell through on these brands these are just prices so anytime you're going to source something good idea to look up the sell through and run the numbers yourselves this next category is not actually at 100% sell through, it's at 82%, but I include it in this video just because I guess I personally love picking them up and they've never failed me. It's trucker jackets, which I've talked about in another video. Trucker jackets are denim jackets of a specific cut. They have generally two big chest pockets and they have an adjustable hem, long sleeve obviously, and made of denim. So denim trucker's jackets, are great sellers for me and really healthy market on eBay if you can find the right brands. 
Levi's is the strongest brand in my experience for trucker jackets, especially vintage trucker jackets. Those are the ones that are worth a lot of money. In fact, if you can find a big E trucker jacket, that's where the tab on the pocket, the red tab has a capital E instead of a lowercase E. Those are vintage and those can be worth hundreds if not thousands of dollars. Ralph Lauren, uh, Ralph Lauren denim stuff tends to be worth quite a bit in terms of especially jackets. I just sold uh, not a trucker jacket, but a Ralph Lauren denim flip collar jacket for 105 bucks. Carhartt, again, Woolrich, vintage Woolrich stuff can be worth quite a bit. Vintage Lee, Lee's a trashier brand. Trashier just meaning less expensive. Uh, but the vintage stuff can be worth okay money. This is one of those cases. Eddie Bauer, same deal, kind of a lower tier brand, but pieces like trucker jackets can be worth it. And uh, True Religion, True Religion jean jackets are great sellers. Men's jogger pants are through the roof right now because of COVID. Athleisure wear is just out of control because of the pandemic. Men's jogger pants are sitting at 139% sell through. This is gonna be a hard one to mess up. These you do need to screen for condition because this is the kind of thing people wear for four days straight sitting around the house. Brands to be on the lookout for for joggers. Lululemon, top of the heap, A number one. Uh, Nike, also really good. Those you're gonna find more commonly. And by the way, if you don't know what jogger pants are, they have generally elastic waistbands and elastic cuffs and they have drawstrings. Um, there might be some wiggle room in the definition there, but if you're not familiar with them, definitely good to do like a Google image search to see what they look like. And cargo joggers, total hole in one. Um, Kith, Kith I think is a streetwear brand. It's pretty uncommon, really spendy. Their joggers are super expensive. Polo Ralph Lauren again, I saw selling for good money. Mack Weldon, a brand that I've talked about, they make underwear, but they make a lot of athleisure stuff. All of their bottoms, I have noticed, sell quite well and for really good money. Um, and Patagonia. Right behind joggers, sweatpants, very, very similar. They are at 135% sell through on eBay in used condition. You are pretty likely to run into sweatpants that are not quite up to snuff in terms of their physical shape. So screen them really hard, look at the crotch, look for bleach stains, look for a lot of pilling. That's where the fabric on the exterior forms little burrs and balls. That can be overcome if you have a sweater shaver, but if it's really bad, probably skip it. Um, look for the waistband being blown out, the elastic being way too stretched out. Just look for for bad condition overall. If you can find them in good condition and they're not a really bad brand, then they're probably worth selling. Some good brands, Lululemon, again, no surprise there. Nike, again. Uh, North Face, Patagonia, Supreme makes sweatpants. If you can find those and they're authentic, they can be worth hundreds. Aviator Nation sweatpants. This is a great brand that I have completely forgotten to mention in these brand videos. Aviator Nation is um, really expensive and really visually unassuming. Aviator Nation stuff is well over 100% sell through as of last year, which is when I found my last Aviator Nation piece. Their sweatpants sell great. Adidas, Mack Weldon again, Polo Ralph Lauren again. And keeping with the theme, track pants are not quite at 100% sell through, but they are at 96% sell through, which is close enough. Track pants are the polyester or nylon pants with an elastic waist and the striping on the side. You see them the most often from Nike, Adidas. Um, they're the bottom halves of track suits a lot of the time. So if you find track pants, check the jacket section for the matching top because track suits can be worth uh, more money than you would think. So Adidas and Nike are gonna be the most common that you're gonna find. Puma, you also are gonna find a lot, but I didn't see it in the, the higher dollar eBay solds. Doesn't mean they're not worth selling. A little bit pricier of a brand that showed up was Givenchy, which was a little bit of a surprise. I didn't know they made track suits. Um, Reebok, no surprise there. Polo, Sport selling decently. Tommy Hilfiger, same deal. They were bright red. They had a Tommy flag on them. Um, 
Needles, which is a Japanese brand that I found one time before, new with tags, it sold for over 200 bucks. Great brand, you're probably never gonna see it, I'm probably never gonna see it again, but if you find Needles track pants, Needles anything, um, it's like Needles Neptines or something, it's a weird name. And Arcturix makes track pants apparently. This next one is really strong, puffer jackets for men, 103% sell through. This keeps cropping up in every single brand, every brand that I run into, that some of the top selling most expensive stuff in used condition is puffer jackets, specifically puffer jackets with goose down fill. If you can find goose down fill puffer jackets, the brand is probably completely irrelevant. You can probably sell it for pretty good money. Um, I've sold puffer jackets from Uniqlo that, um, no, it was a puffer vest which is also a category. Puffer vests are at 104% to the 103% of puffer jackets, so these are kind of one category. The brand overlap is really strong. Puffer jackets are the jackets that have the horizontal ribbing, and they have a lot of fill. A lot of them are polyester fill. As I said before, the down fill ones are preferable. Even feather fill, which is not as nice as down, will still confer a little bit of value over polyester. Check for condition, obviously, but if you find a puffer jacket or a puffer vest from even a middle of the road brand, I would say pick it up. Look before you leap, probably, but you're probably safe. So for puffer jacket solds, I filtered for stuff that sold for over 80 bucks. Patagonia, no surprise, if you can find Patagonia puffer anything, it'll sell the same day if you price it right. Montclair, Montclair is a luxury brand that I found one time and it might be counterfeit. So now I just have a Montclair hoodie that I wear. Um, but if you can find Montclair puffer jackets, they sell for sometimes over a grand. They sell for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So Mountain Hardware, Jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, was a little bit of a surprise. It was vintage. Jerry contemporary stuff is, is not really typically worth that much. Uh, vintage Polo Ralph Lauren, another one. Burberry Brit, Eddie Bauer, North Face. And the vests, like I said, are, are going to be pretty much the same brands. This next one is close to trucker jackets. It's the Sherpa jacket, which is at 105% sell through. Sherpa jackets are jackets that have big collars and like wool interiors, and they have wool on the collar. A lot of them are genuine wool, a lot of them are synthetic, but that aesthetic is really popular right now. And especially if you can find vintage pieces, vintage denim Sherpa jackets, those are a complete like unconditional, just buy them, someone's gonna want them. Vintage Levi's Sherpa jackets are the most represented in terms of Sherpa jackets that sell used for good money. Sears Roebuck, vintage Sears Roebuck stuff, um, in general, like an outerwear is good. This is one of those cases. Wrangler, not all Wrangler is worth money, but some of the vintage stuff, some of the outerwear, and especially vintage denim that isn't jeans can be worth good money. Vintage Woolrich, again. Hollister, surprisingly sold for over 50 bucks. A Hollister denim Sherpa jacket. Abercrombie, Dickies. So those, those mall brands, mall brands and fast fashion brands, Nicer pieces, more uncommon pieces, can still hold quite a bit of value. And the last category is also the highest selling and maybe the biggest surprise, it's overalls. Overalls are at 187% sell through and denim overalls are at 227% sell through. So as far as I'm concerned, this is the only category on this list where brand is truly irrelevant. If you find denim overalls and you can get them for a decent price, then just get them because clearly people want them. You do have to be cautious because denim overalls, especially in bigger sizes, are gonna be really bulky. They might not fit in a padded flat rate. In fact, I would go so far as to say they probably won't. So you'll have to ship them out cubic priority through pirate ship, ideally. So your prices for shipping might be inching upwards of 10 bucks. So just factor that into your calculus when you're looking at the prices. A lot of the same brands are gonna be echoed here. Carhartt, Sears, Oshkosh Bagosh, which does make 
adult men's stuff or did. I don't know if they're around anymore anymore and they mostly make men um children's stuff as far as I recall, but Oshkosh overalls sell all the time. Um Dickies, so that might be accessible, a little more accessible than some of these brands. Polo again, there's a brand called Liberty that makes bib overalls that I've I wasn't familiar with, but I saw that three or four times in the solds. Um, and again, vintage stuff is going to sell better. A lot of people, I think, like to get a pair of vintage overalls for the aesthetics more than the function. And those categories of clothing, kind of like cargo pants, where there's an aesthetic appeal plus a functional appeal, you get a gigantic section of the market that will be interested across multiple demographics. And those seem to be the really powerful sellers. So those are just some ideas. Again, I must caution, look before you leap, run some numbers. There are gonna be tons of brands that are not represented in my little nutshell summaries here. Um, and there may be other categories that are over 100% sell through. These are just the ones that occurred to me naturally through my own research and experience and brainstorming. So if you have others to suggest, then definitely maybe leave them in the comments. Otherwise, good luck and I hope that this helps you and happy hunting.